Hi everyone, Neil from Modo here. With ancillary services increasingly shifting to EFA procurement, now seems as good a time as any to provide a quick reminder on how the EFA day works. EFA stands for Electricity Forward Agreement. It's a system used to specify load profiles when trading electricity. Whilst there is an EFA calendar, for today our focus will remain solely on the EFA day. So, what does the day look like? The first thing to note is that the EFA day is split up into six blocks, known helpfully as EFA blocks. Each block represents four hours of the day. Somewhat confusingly, the EFA day actually begins at 11pm the previous night. So, EFA block 1 for the 16th of September, for example, would actually run from 11pm on the 15th of September until 3am on the 16th. Therefore, the EFA day runs not from midnight to midnight, but rather 11pm to 11pm. On top of this, the day is split up into 48 half-hour settlement periods. As the EFA day begins at 11pm, the first settlement period of EFA block 1 is actually period 47, while settlement period 1 runs from midnight until 12.30am. The EFA day is also split up by product. Each product denotes a group of EFA blocks that can be traded together. Base load products run across all six EFA blocks from 11 p.m. until 11 p.m. Peak products run on weekdays only for EFA blocks 3, 4 and 5, so from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Off-peak products take in blocks 1, 2 and 6 on weekdays from 7 p.m. until 7 a.m. and all six blocks on weekends. Then there are daytime and overnight products. Daytime products run across EFA blocks 3 through 6, meaning from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m while overnight products run across blocks 1 and 2, meaning 11pm until 7am. Hopefully this gives you some idea of exactly how the EFA day is split up. To find out more about how energy markets work, head along to modo.energy. See you next time.